everyone, Katerina here. Welcome back. This is the second part of my craft things I bought before Christmas. I split this video into three parts, as I said before, because I shopped in Ireland, Germany and the UK in October and November. And I don't want the videos to be too long. In this video, I will be showing you what I bought in Germany. It's not too much. I went to visit my mom and we usually go shopping and we stop in this store called Idee. But before I even left Ireland, I had to shop at a Create a Smile. Create a Smile is a German company, so I wanted to take the opportunity and get few things. I didn't buy any of their stamps and dies this time. In my head it was like, I'm going to Germany, I have to shop at Create a Smile. To be honest, the difference between their international shipping and shipping within Germany is just about 2 euro. So I can uh, shop there whenever I want, even if I'm in Ireland. The first thing I check when I go on Create a Smile website if they have clear sequins from Pretty Pink Posh. Would you believe that there is no Pretty Pink Posh sold in the UK? At least I could not find any shops when Googling. If you know of any UK shops that sell online, uh, let me know in the comments below. I would really appreciate it. But Create a Smile has a big selection of Pretty Pink Posh sequins. So make sure you check them out. Their website is not only in German, but also in English. I bought the clear droplets from Pretty Pink Posh in two sizes and the clear confetti mix. And I also got an extra gift with little enamel dots in a mint color, very cute. I also shopped on Amazon Germany. I normally shop in the UK, but there are a few things that I wanted to get and they either don't ship internationally or were way too expensive or both. I bought these two things. First, I got the double-sided tape from Sellotape. This one is 2.5 centimeters wide. I already have one that is 1.2 centimeters wide, but it is nice to have a wider tape when you are adhering bigger panel or a fan foam. And the second thing I bought is a bone folder. I was looking for one for so long, either they are super expensive or they don't ship internationally. Why do you need a bone folder compared to the plastic ones? The plastic one just leaves this shine on the card when you fold it, while bone folder should not do this. I haven't really tested it because I already had my cards pre-scored, but I will keep a look on that. That was all I bought on Amazon Germany. You can definitely find these items in different countries. Just copy and paste the product title and put it into Google or Amazon shop of your country. And the same applies for the next shop. These things are not strictly German. So as I said, we went to the store called Ide in Erfurt. It was a little bit disappointing. Their stuff is quite overpriced and nothing special. It's more like a general all crafts uh, kind of a store and not really a big one. And they don't sell any brands like MFT, Lawn Phone or Ranger. First, I bought a few brush pens from Sakura. It's the Koi brush pens. They are water-based, so should be similar to Tombow or Zig but I'm not sure because I don't have those. I already had few colors of these markers and I really like them, but I didn't really have any colors in mind. So I just randomly picked what felt right at that time. Next, I bought a non-permanent adhesive roller from Tessa. I already have the one that is permanent, which I really like. So I wanted to give the non-permanent a try. I only tried once so far and it would not really stick. I know it's non-permanent adhesive, but all I needed was it to hold my card closed while I take photos, but it didn't hold at all. So that's disappointing, but the permanent one from Tessa is really great. I would recommend the one that you can also refill. That was all I bought in this store. And the last thing I got in Germany were a few buttons. I got those from my mom, but she sells buttons and other stuff in her store on Davanda. So I thought I popped those here as well. Her shop name is Dada's Design. She doesn't sell these particular buttons, but it's worth checking it out. I don't use buttons on my cards too often, mostly because it doesn't fit or I forget. But now and then I like to add different embellishments. And if I add buttons, then they need to be wooden, which these are. I think wooden buttons just look way better. Of course, it depends on the card you're making. And that's all I got in Germany. The products will be listed in the description below this video. And if you like to get the links to the shops where I bought them, hop over to my blog cherry-b.net. And also you can check out and follow my Pinterest board called Crafty Purchases 2017. 
where I have included or pinned all those products as well. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for future videos if you haven't done so already. I still have one part to go with crafty things I bought in the UK. This part has way more stuff. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!